Hey guys, I'm Devin Zalima, and you might notice a change of scenery today. That's because I wanted to sit on the ground and make sure that I'm eye level with the camera because I want us all to sit down and have a good conversation together. Some of you might remember in August, I went back to Atlanta and filmed the sibling tag video with my brother Derek. Well, that's actually not all that we filmed, and today, in celebration of how many subscribers I have gained, I wanted to make this video and put this out there. Just a quick update on that. When I uploaded my last video, last Saturday, I had 121 subscribers. Within a week, I think I'm 200 away from 2,000 subscribers. That is unbelievable to me. It makes me realize that if I am able to have this platform at this time in my life right now, I want to make sure that it is being used for something good. So Derek and I are going to explain to you about cystic fibrosis. Hi, my name is Derek DeLima. I'm Devin DeLima's older brother, and I have cystic fibrosis. For those of you who don't know what cystic fibrosis is, it's a genetic disease which affects the pancreas and the lungs. It affects the pancreas basically by making it non-functional. A lot of people with cystic fibrosis also have diabetes as a side effect, which Derek does as well. And also, it makes the pancreas unable to absorb fat correctly. Most people with cystic fibrosis have to take enzyme supplements to absorb fat properly. Inside the lungs of someone who does not have cystic fibrosis, there are microscopic hairs called cilia that are all around the lining. These hairs catch allergens, particles, etc and force them back out. People with cystic fibrosis do not have these hairs. All those kinds of things get in the lungs and we have to try real hard to get them out. And it also makes us very prone to lung infections. People with cystic fibrosis have to do a lot of things to um, keep themselves healthy. There are a lot of things that someone with cystic fibrosis has to do in order to maintain their health. It's hard to describe and make general descriptions about the disease to anyone because it affects everyone so differently. Some people are born with strains. When there's usually people with cystic fibrosis, they have to have the CF gene from both of their parents. Derek was born with this gene. I was not, but there is still a very good chance that I could pass on these genes to my future children. The average age, I believe, for people with cystic fibrosis is 37 years. That being said, the lifespan isn't that long. Girls are more harshly affected by the disease than boys. But this doesn't mean that the disease is any easier. It encompasses all of your life. I am on so many different medications, so many different antibiotics. There are so many little things I have to do every day to maintain my health. I want to make it clear that people with cystic fibrosis, if they are out mountain climbing and doing marathons and everything, good for them. But that does not mean that they're any more healthy or that their lives are any easier. In the end, cystic fibrosis is a terminal disease. It has no cure. I'm 27 years old, so there is a good chance I'll most likely live to be 37. And I'm making this video to help raise awareness for cystic fibrosis. I've set up a GoFundMe account which is linked in the description box below, where you can donate directly to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. I'm also monetizing this video, but every cent that I make off of this video through AdSense and Google will be donated directly towards the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. 
My goal is to raise $1,000. If every one of my subscribers donated a little bit more than 50 cents, we'd be there. Also, plot twist, I am kickstarting the campaign with a personal donation of $100. In the United States, there are around, I think, 30,000 people with cystic fibrosis, and I believe it's about 70,000 people worldwide. It needs to be more well-known. It needs to have more support. It needs, it needs more. It's still something that is very tough to live with. It really involves the entire family of the one who has cystic fibrosis because it just encompasses so much stuff in their life. And so much of their day is put towards keeping themselves healthy, doing medications, doing treatments, that it's just, it's a group effort. I need a support group. I need my family. I need a clinic. I need doctors. I need people who are really invested, who really know this disease and know how it affects me. Because it can be very hard for someone who does not have cystic fibrosis to relate to someone who does. For men, sexually, there is only a 2-3% chance of ever being able to impregnate anyone. For women, it's very difficult for the sperm to find the eggs, which also makes it very hard, no matter what gender you are, to have children. It really needs funding. It's it's not something you hear in a casual conversation. You don't see it on television. I love you guys. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It would mean a, so much more to me if you guys donated to this cause. Again, the, uh, the GoFundMe account is in the description box below. Please donate anything that you can. It's greatly appreciated. I would rather raise a thousand dollars than have a thousand more subscribers. And that's just the honest truth. I know this video is a little bit different than what I've been doing, but this subject matter is so near and dear to my heart that I feel like now that I am gaining subscribers as quickly as I am, it's time to give it back. And it's time to put some good out into the world. I hope that we can continue doing that together. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Devin uploads a new video every Saturday. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later, possibly. I'll see you guys next Saturday for a brand new video. Later.